Let us have a close look at a particular fraction. We have a circle here and let me divide this circle in four equal parts. Let us say we divide it like this. One vertical line and another horizontal line going through the center. So, right? so assume that these are all equal parts. Right? So let me shade them with different colors. Right? So this time I'll shade this with green color. And uh, let me shade the other half in, in blue. So we have this in blue color. So now what we see here is shaded portion is how much? So we find that the shaded portion is 3 fourths, right? 3 out of 4 are shaded. Now it is interesting to see how there is a relation between this 3 fourth. We can write this 3 fourth shaded portion as equal to half that blue part plus the green part which is actually 1 fourth, right? Plus 1 out of 4. So if we add half and 1 fourth you get 3 fourths. The interesting thing which I observe here is that we have one on top of both, right? So these are called unit fractions. So 3 fourth can be written as combination of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Now is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 really 3 fourths? Let's check that out. So let's do that math and check whether 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 is 3 fourths or not. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. So when you want to add them, you'll make common denominators. You can write half as multiply both by 2. You get 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 and that is indeed 3 over 4. So it is indeed 3 over 4. But what you observe here is 3 fourths can be written as combination of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. That is interesting. Now the question here is, that can you write all fractions like combination of such numbers? These are called unit fractions. For example, can you write 5 over 6 as combination of 1 over something plus 1 over something else plus 1 over something else? Is that possible or not? That is kind of interesting to see. Now what I have found is that these combinations were discovered long time back by the Egyptians and they are called Egyptian unit fractions and we will explore now how to get such combinations right so I'll show you the trick and then we'll have few more videos to explore more about these Egyptian unit fractions right it's very interesting so go through the video and try to explore more right so how to get these kinds of unit fractions when added to give you what you want. Here we want 5 over 6. Now how can you get 5 over 6? That is the question. So what we do is we start with a number like half. We know half is less than 5 over 6. So half plus something could be 5 over 6. Now what is that something? That something is actually equals to 5 over 6 minus half. So let's do our math and find out how much it is. So to do this, we have a common denominator of 6. So you have to multiply this by 3 and 3, right? So we get 5 minus 3, which is 2 over 6, right? So, so that thing gives you half plus 2 over 6. 2 over 6 can be written as 1 over 3. So we can write 1 over 3 here. So 5 over 6 can be written as... 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. That's interesting. So you can write 5 over 6 also as a combination of unit fractions. Do you see that? That is very interesting. Now figure out how to write 7 over 8 as a combination of unit fractions. Let that be an exercise for you. Okay. So start with half. Do the same thing and see if you can write it as a unit fraction, right? 
and then we'll see you in the next video and we'll explore some more things about unit fraction. I hope that catches your interest. Thank you and all the best.